guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I've got a DVD review. Uh, it's from a film I watched the other night, and it is the newest edition, or the remake, should I say, really, of A Nightmare on Elm Street. Now, I brought it the other day because uh, I was in game and uh, they were selling them on offer, and I thought, why not? Uh, let's get a bit of a scary Halloween film. And I decided to pick up Nightmare on Elm Street, the latest one. In all honesty, I got it because it was the best one out of the selection. But also because I'm a fan of the originals. Um, the Freddy Krueger Nightmare on Elm Street films from the 80s. Your typical um, old school horror. That was you know, what films nowadays are based on. That sort of horror and shock factor. Freddy Krueger as well. Uh, I got it because it's the newest, latest version. Whereas the old ones are good, uh, I thought I'd give this a go. And because I got it, because really, uh, Freddy Krueger is an iconic film villain, if you could say that. If uh, if you were to ask anybody about the scissor fingers, almost the knives on his fingers, uh, the stripy sweater or the hat, or even his skin, really. I mean, them all mixed together make Freddy Krueger an iconic serial killer in film folklore really uh, so yeah that's some of the reasons why I got it uh, but I watched it the other night and I thought I'd give it a review it is a almost a remake slash reboot of the original Nightmare on Elm Street uh, it's been brought up to date into the 21st century uh, but it's still got the iconic villain Freddy Krueger in his finger knives thing uh, with his striped sweater and his hat and obviously he's got his burnt face. Nowadays it's more CG, but they have used a prosthetic mask almost. So the character who plays him obviously has got normal ears, uh, whereas now the prosthetic mask has got to go over his ears and it's worked on his nose, his lips and his mouth. And There's only a bit of CG on his mask, which is on his cheek sort of area. So they've kept to the originality of the mask, but it's more of a... A burnt face whereas the old Freddy Krueger it was more uh, let's try and keep the facial recognition so he's got big ears he's got a big nose whereas if that happened in a real fire his nose would go his ears would go and his lips would sort of melt away so they've kept a good sort of prosthetic mask uh, running through the whole film which is good brought it better more realistic uh, but the gist of it is really um, the, they're trying to find out the kids in the film, the youngsters. Uh, they're still in the late teens, they're in the school sort of era, um, high school sort of leaving. They're that sort of age. But they are trying to find out why Freddy Krueger is in all of their dreams. It's not just in one kid's dreams, it's in, you know, there's about five or six sort of youngster characters. And they're all connected by going to the same school. So the kids have grown up with each other. And uh, really, yeah, they're all trying to figure out why their dreams are connected. And why they've all got Freddy Krueger in But there is, like I say, there is about five or six youngsters in it. And uh, it tells the story, the small story, which are all connected, obviously, of how their dreams are including Freddy Krueger. One thing I couldn't understand is um, how they seem to, from the beginning, they seem to get a rapport with the main character. And you think, oh great, this is the main character. They're going to you know, track it down. They're going to find out all the other school kids and uh, get all their dreams together. You know, and get everything together. Yeah, they're going to be the main character to solve the mystery. Um, but then that soon changes. Then you think, oh, he's going to be the main character. And then he changes. And then, oh, she's going to be the main character. But no, 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 she's not going to be the main character anymore. And, uh, yeah, they, they don't seem to stick to the one main youngster character. They switch between them. And I think that's a bit wrong. They should have one main character all the way through with other kids, you know, joining and leaving and joining and leaving and such like that. Keep one character rather than so feeling out almost. They, they, to the audience to say right you're the main character but then they're not and then he is then he's not keep one main character i mean they didn't they just kept 
flitting in between each one. And you know, one main character to solve the mystery. Uh, from the beginning, from the start, and all the way through the film. One character that they find uh, is a young Chinese character who they all went to school with, who they're not in contact with anymore. And uh, one of the characters uh, Googles him. Fair enough, they find him. And uh, it's not really a spoiler, but he dies. He's only in it about two seconds. Yeah, he, he's. you see him in about three little video clips, so he's put videos on the internet. Fair enough. His videos are all about his dreams. But then there's one video where he falls asleep in front of the camera. He falls asleep and then the next second you see him lunge at the camera and it goes all fuzzy. My question is, how did that video get uploaded onto the internet if he's just put his face through the camera? Couldn't figure that one out. The video wouldn't get uploaded if he destroyed it. Or if he died. Because we're given the impression he's died, he's gone through the camera. So... How can the guy upload the video when he's just put his face through the camera? Can't figure that out. Uh, another one that kind of got me is after, they say in the film, that after three days you start to fall asleep with your eyes open and you start dreaming. Fair enough, I haven't stayed up for three days to figure this one out for myself. So one of the characters nearly discovered the mystery behind Freddy Krueger and he's driving down and then next thing you know, he sees Freddy Krueger on the road in front of him. So one, the guys fell asleep. Two, Freddy Krueger's in the road. Fair enough. So he's dreaming, he's seen him in front of him. But then the kid in the car swerves out of the way to avoid him. Now why do that? Fell asleep at the wheel. Fair enough. But then he's going to find out why Freddy Krueger's in the dreams. So why not keep on the path? Keep going. Run him over. Don't avoid him, you're going to kill him in a way. You know, you're going to kill him to figure out why he's attacking your dreams. If Michael Myers was in front of you, you want to swerve around him, you go straight through him. But, yeah. It's an okay reboot, it's an okay remake. Keeps the same synapse of the original films. You know, Freddy Krueger, he's coming for you, he's going to attack you in your dreams. Uh, Nancy's always the favourite. You know, he's still got his hat and his glove and his sweater. There aren't any well-known characters in it. No one that stood out for me, really. Apparently, uh, I watched one of the extras and the guy who plays Freddy Krueger, Jackie Earl Healy. Healy. Never heard of the guy and apparently all the fans on the internet were raving about him, saying how good he is. I think the guy's creepy and I've never heard of him before, I've never seen him in a film, so I don't know who this guy is playing him, uh, but there's, there's no one famous, there's no one recognisable, the characters are okay, the stories are okay, uh, it's just the basic of, you know, how Freddy became Freddy Krueger, but I brought it for a fiver, it's on Blu-ray, you can't really get a Blu-ray for five quid that's okay, well you can, but... There's a, it, it's an alright horror film for a fiver on Blu-ray, really, about Freddy Krueger's origin. Uh, that's really why I brought it. Um, I've got the other films. So, yeah, it's it's an okay horror film. It's just brought Freddy Krueger into the 21st century, giving you the backstory of how he became Freddy Krueger. How he got his burnt face, and how come he's chasing after kids on Elm Street in their dreams. When I first watched the Elm Street films, I was a young kid, really. I was, I was young. I wasn't uh, old enough, really, to understand the films. Whereas now, I understand Freddy Krueger and I understand the story of him. And one mystery that always surrounds it now that I've watched this is why are we such a fan of a paedophile who kills people in their dreams? Can't understand that one. I understand Freddy Krueger, he kills people, but he's a paedophile. So, why is there such a big hype about the films? I don't know. But, yes, if you're a fan of Nightmare on Elm Street and you want to see a reboot, a remake, and you want to see the origin and how Freddy Krueger became burnt and all the melted, charred face, uh, then this one's for you, really. If not, and you don't want to watch a story about a paedophile who kills people in their dreams, um, and you don't want to look at burnt faces like Freddy Krueger, uh, then this one's for you, really.
Don't forget, WWTD, 20% off anything uh, We The Devoted attire. Honestly guys, thanks for watching my review of Nightmare on Elm Street. It's an okay sort of film. Yeah, if you're a fan of the old ones, then yeah, probably worth getting. If you don't like the old ones, then yeah, you could probably avoid it really. Not the greatest horror film, but it's alright. Uh, one thing I couldn't understand, well there's a couple actually, but 